Hey, this is part two of the looking at the Dave Smith Mofo X4 and the Dave Smith Tetra. Um, when I was looking online, do I have Guinness on my face? When I was looking online, there wasn't a lot of information either about the step sequencer or getting the two to marry up to provide extra voices. Um, the Mofo X4 has four analog voices and the Tetra has four analog voices. And you can polychain those together and I saw I saw plenty of examples of people playing them chained together, but very little explanation of how to chain them together. So I read through the instructions, um, which were eh, adequate, not fabulous, not horrible, and figured out how to chain them together. And for the most part, it works out pretty awesome. As I say in the video, my Mofo X4, in comparison to my Tetra, I've discovered it has some noise coming out of the, the line that I'm not sure what it is exactly. But anyway, Dave Smith, guys, I'll be calling you about that. So, And we're finishing off another Guinness. Cheers! Okay, um, I mentioned this one several times in previous videos that I wanted to look at the Mofo X4 married up to the Dave Smith Tetra, both by Dave Smith have almost the exact same architecture, I believe, uh, for the sound engine. And it's actually a fairly simple process once you read through it and understand how to do it. Um, both are four, vo four voice, the Tetra and the Mofo 4. And what you have to do is make sure you have the same sound programmed into both. And uh, so what you do, well, what I did in this instance, we'll just walk through it, was I went ahead and dumped an entire bank into this MIDI out from the Tetra into the MIDI in on the Mofo 4. You just click right and it dumps the whole bank automatically. Now it's going to overwrite everything that you have, so you want to be careful that you know you, you don't want you don't want to lose anything by getting it overwritten by the other bank. So um, so I did that. I took the uh, Again, the entire bank number one from the Tetra, and I dumped it into the uh, Mofo X4. Now, I should have probably gone the other way around, because there are quite a few programs here with the Tetra that have AB, AB levels. Uh, I mean, it's actually, it's, it's actually multi-timbral, so this can play different, two different patches. Um, at the same time. So what it does when it's dumping those sounds from the Tetra into the Mofo X4 is it just strips out part B. It only copies part A of the patch into the Mofo X4, which kind of stinks, but so it goes. Now actually that's one of my complaints, um, well sort of disappointments I guess I can say. So everything got dumped into here, and then you have to go into the, and then I made this the, the master, and this is the slave. So if you go into your global parameters, and you change it to, where is it? There we go, polychain. If you change it to out four, then it's gonna shoot the four extra voices to the tetra. Now if you change it to polychain off, then really this just acts like a MIDI out to the Tetra 4. They're not synchronized other than just through MIDI out commands, the keyboard commands, notes on, whatever. Now, 
true statement as well, you can use the, the Mofo X4 to program the Tetra, and that is a very nice thing. Trust me. Um, so we'll turn it back on. It's out four. Back to this beautiful Royal Horns program. And that's basically it. Now it has eight voices of Royal Horns. <laughs> change a parameter on the X4, it automatically changes that parameter for all the voices or for that same patch on the Tetra. So. And that's basically it. It's uh, fairly simple. Um, it is pretty cool to have eight voices of Dave Smith prophet-like goodness in an analog uh, keyboard. Granted, it takes a bit of cabling to get it to work, and you have to obviously have a mixer or something for the mono out for this, the mono out for that, or if you want to do stereo out from this and stereo out from that. But anyway, um, I bought the Tetra a couple years before I got the Mofo X4, and uh, loved the Tetra, and I thought having you know the Mofo X4 to help expand the Tetra, as well as the Tetra expand the Mofo X4, and make it easier to program, set up, I'm extremely happy with it.